Hello and a very good afternoon. Good morning, welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Sunday morning. Have your weekend going well and you're looking forward to another jam-packed day with us here on Crafters TV. I'm really looking forward to the next hour and a half because I feel like I hardly ever do this show. Uh, I think the last time I was here, Bernie and I were chatting that it had been something like six months <laughs> since I'd done it. And then we did the show and it disappeared for about another three weeks. I do love Bernie, honestly, despite how that seems, we get along brilliantly. Uh, <laughs> and it's going to be a great show today because not only do we have new goodies to bring to you, we've got a very special guest who we're going to be chatting to as well. Uh, and lots of great products as well to help all of your softer side needs. One thing I do have to say though, which I am disappointed about, we did have some brand new fabric to bring to you on uh, this edition. You might well hide on this edition of the uh, softer side of life, but guess what happened? Bernie decided to put it out on social media, told everybody, and guess what happened? Don't scream and shout, but it all sold out. So I was really looking forward to it. I was looking through it this morning, lots of nice new Christmas fabric. It was absolutely gorgeous. I was thinking, oh, I can't wait to bring this. And then I came here and Bernie, Oh, it's all sold out. What are you like, Bernie Corner? What are you like? Seriously. Uh, I'm sorry. Come on. <laughs> oh, I know. I couldn't believe it. I was dread. Well, I wasn't dreading coming in. So I love coming in every morning. But I was dreading coming in this ben. morning. So I thought, well, I see Ben. I'm going to get in trouble. So well done to everyone who managed to grab some of the fabric. But yet, yeah, like Ben's saying, we've got so many fabulous goodies today, including the new launch yes. with actually designed by a designer who we have here in the studio Woo so i just want to give a hello today to karen lewis so hi karen hi bernie these are absolutely amazing sets of dyes aren't they and we're going to be actually we're going to be doing a demo together soon aren't we showing them we off are. yes we are looking forward to it Perfect. So there we go, Ben. So yeah, so just the, we've got the three of us in today. Yes, um, it's going to be brilliant. Going to be a lot of fun. Um, and as always, we are live and interactive this uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday morning. Uh, we'll be catching up with Karen a little bit more later on. Um, and of course, if you've got any questions you want to fire our way, Facebook and uh, YouTube is the place to be asking those questions. If you're brand new to kind of um, soft crafts, ask those questions, get them in. Um, as I say, this is a show where I feel I'm always learning as well. So don't feel afraid to ask questions. Uh, don't feel afraid to get in touch. Uh, let us know what you're shopping for as well. Uh, we've got our weekly deal, which I will um, just kick off and um, show you very quickly indeed. Uh, this is available for you up until the end of play today. So if you want to jump in and grab it, um, great tool this, your binding tool. And it's also going to come with your um, uh, brilliant blue strip roll collection. Um, normally, $21.96 or $26.90 uh, but actually getting 30% off today on this collection it works out actually that you're getting the binder tool for free uh, if you're a platinum member that works out at $11.99 or $13.56 if you're shopping with us in the US um, but as I say that deal will end this evening if you want to jump in and grab it already uh, with us Georgie Ann Curley says hi Ben and Bernie from Clearwater Florida uh, Michelle Parsons is in from PA uh, hi at Team Social uh, all crafters and all my crafty friends We've got Colleen on the uh, socials today. Hi, Colleen. Um, Marsha says, good morning, Bernie and Ben from Pennsylvania. Pammy says, good morning, Bernie, Ben, CTV crew, and all the crafty friends from central New York. Uh, and D Hamilton Patterson says, hello all from Cheshire. And tell Bernie, thanks for the, he thanks for the heads up. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you managed to get them. They were lovely fabrics. I mean, they were... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's move on to the brand new goodies that we've got on the show, uh, the uh, Builder Block Designer Collection, and we're going to uh, meet uh, the lovely Karen, as I say, um, who had a big hand in these uh, in just a little while and chat through them. We've got three brand new collections for you, um, starting off with your uh, geometric 
uh, arrows. Six elements in total here, and the whole point about these builder blocks, I'm sure uh, you know if you've already bu uh, bought these previously, uh, it's all about giving you the precision, it's all about giving you the accuracy. Um, and with the, um, the builder blocks that you've got here as well, you've got the ability um, to make all of the different designs uh, that you can see on the, um, the front of um, your packaging. So with our uh, geometric arrows here, uh, not only uh, have you got the ability to make uh, the beautiful quilts, you've got details in there as well uh, about, where is that apron by the way? Oh, I've got it. Oh, you've got it's, it. Oh. I've got it in my pile of samples here. Okay. I've got loads. <laughs> okay. Uh, and also, take a look at this. I mean, seriously, how cool is that? I mean, just brilliant. And that's the whole point with these, Bernie, isn't it? The builder blocks is that they allow you, uh, you know, even I suppose as a, a bit of a beginner in the sort of um, art of the uh, soft crafts to create these quickly, simply, accurately and easily, right? Definitely. And we mm. hold in your hand at every step. And obviously yeah. the designs that have been done here from Karen are just absolutely amazing. And they look so complicated, but once you start cutting your pieces out, yeah. you just see how easy it is to put them together. Um, so that is your geometric arrows, uh, $27.99 today's price, so everyone's saving 20%. Uh, $31.96 if you're buying this with us in the US. If you're platinum, another 20% comes off that price. So £22.39 or $25.57 uh, is the deal for your geometric arrows. Uh, now, next up on our brand new Builder Blocks, we have got uh, the Catherine wheel. Again, bang in the center here, uh, a three in one, as you can see. And once again, um, all of the instructions, everything that you need right there with your multimedia dies to be able to create um, a whole host um, of different elements. I can show you just one of the um, beautiful items uh, that you're gonna be able to create. I mean, and again, how stunning is that? I mean, you've got the ability, of course, to change uh, fabric, change the colors that you're using. Uh, and if you've used these before, as I've said, you will know um, how easy it is to be able to create with these systems. But if you're looking at these for the first time and again, thinking to yourself, how does this work? Is it difficult to do all be revealed over the course of this show? And again, the great thing about the builder blocks is, is if you've already bought the previous builder blocks, yes, these are going to um, you know, work with those previous editions, but you can buy these as standalone items as well um, to, to get you going with your soft craft. $22.39 or $25.57 if you want to go for the Catherine wheel. Uh, and then last but by no means least, uh, we've got uh, your Bejeweled Delights. Uh, again, it's a 20% saving for everybody here. Uh, $27.99 or $31.96. Platinum is another 20% uh, comes off. Uh, and once again here, take a look. Uh, you've got your uh, Bejeweled Delight storage caddy, uh, your table runner, um, your, uh, your coat uh, in there as well. Look at this. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. This reminds me a little bit of a, um, like the edging here of a dinosaur. I think, Bernie, isn't that called... Get it right, Ben, get it right, Ben, because she told you to make you look like an expert. Isn't that called a, um, a prairie corner? It is! Well yes. remembered! <laughs> See, you are learning. You will, you're going to be a sewer, Ben. You will learn. <laughs> you will learn. You're going to be a fantastic sewer. Oh, one day, I, honestly, when those classes, you know, start up for the uh, dads and kids, I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there. I'll be yeah, I'm putting your name down. <laughs> There already. Uh, $22.39 or $25.57 um, if you want to go for the uh, Bejeweled Delights as well. All, as I say, absolutely brand spanking new. Any questions you've got about these, get the uh, questions coming in on Facebook and YouTube. But let's get over um, to um, Bernie and Karen. And also, if you've got any questions you want to fire to uh, Karen, get those in as well. And I will include those when we have a little bit of a sit down chat and a natter uh, a little bit later on. I'm looking forward to that. Have a cozy little chat in front of the uh, snowy window over there. Uh, but let's have a look uh, at these with um, Bernie and Karen. Which one are you going to be looking at, Bernie? So I'm going to show you some samples that we've got here made by the design team of all three. And then Karen, you've brought some samples as well we're going I to show have, as well. Yes. So this one here is the Catherine wheel. And just shall we hold shall this we, one up let's together? Hold it up. Let's hold it up together. It's a bit bigger. Look at this. I mean that it's just nine blocks. 
Wow. So all you do are nine of them and then yeah. you've got your little lap coil tee. It's absolutely fantastic. And obviously, depending on what colour choices you do, the design will look totally, totally different. But that's absolutely fantastic and really, really easy for a beginner and anyone right the way up to advanced, you know, whichever, you know, design you want to have a go at, mm. they all they all really, really perfect for that. So that's that one there. And then this one is one of my favourites. So this one is the geometric arrows. But we've got an apron. Love now it. in these packets you're getting a pattern. So if you hold just one side there, I'll hold this one out there. See how there, we've, we've given you the pattern to make three things with each one. Yeah. So you're going to be able to make the apron with this. And what we've done here is you've got a full block and then you've got part of a block at the side. So you don't have to do the full 12 inch. You can actually make them a lot smaller to make smaller projects. So we've got that one there. And then mentioning smaller projects, here's a little zipper pouch. That's Look at this. Cute. And on here, you're just using elements out of it. You're not using all of the dies. So you don't have to use all of the dies. You know, you can just mix and match them. And then we've we'll popped a plane on the back, but you can put both, you know, designs on both sides if you want to. Absolutely perfect for that. I've got another. So this is a lovely little backpack. How cute is this, Karen? Really Isn't cute. it fab? It and those colours are amazing. Yeah, I love blue really and purple good. together. Yeah, it looks really so that nice. one, you know, that's again, it's just one block, so it's really, really achievable. And then the last one is Bejeweled Delight. Little secret, this is the one we're going to be demoing, it isn't it? Is. Yeah, we we're going, going to be to demoing this, this block. We both detail. We both looked at this block and we're like, yeah, yeah oh, we'll do that yeah. one. Ah, Look at yes. that. And wow. also as well, if you stare at these you see one design. If you then change and stare at the blues, you see another design. Yeah, it's like so a magic eye picture. Yes, <laughs> it is. It, you know, it depends which colour you stare at. Yeah. You see a different design in there. It's absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, so we're going to pop these aside and then shall we have a look at yours, Karen? What yours? Yeah, yeah, so we'll bam. put those over there, shall we? We'll sh yeah, we'll Don't pop them on the chair there. there. Yes. yes. We've got, honestly, if you can see behind this counter, there's just samples everywhere because we've got so much on the show. So I've brought my three along, one from each of the designs, just to show how one block only is a useful thing. Mm. We can have a little tabletop thing. And Perfect. I can imagine all of these done in Christmas fabrics. Yeah. Lovely yes. Christmas display for on your tabletops. I'm loving this as well. You've done hand quilting. So yes. you, are you a bit of a, 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 bit hand, of a, hand, a hand quilter? I do like hand quilting wherever possible. Um, and if I had all the time in the world, I would only do hand quilting. But um, so we've we got from one extreme we to the other. Because I, yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not a big hand stitcher. Right. But yeah, I do like to do English paper piecing. Okay. And something like this, I would do. But I, I hate. So you know, if you make teddies and things like that, I love making can that element but when you get to the stitching up at the okay. end that's yes. the bit that's, that yeah that's sort else. of mending isn't yeah. it yeah <laughs> it is but the nice but thing about doing hand quilting is that you can pick out a person you can pick out a, a, a particular bit of the design yes. and highlight that so the fabrics that I chose almost blended in, but by doing the hand quilting, it makes that really, the really pops, in the doesn't it? Really and it's pop. like oh, this is the Catherine wheel, but to me, yes. I can see a windmill there yes, as well. Exactly. So you start to yeah, see yeah. different There's pictures. There's so many, depending on where you put your fabrics and your fabric choices. Uh -huh. With all of these systems, you can actually make it look completely different. Yes, like really with this, I love. This so is why we this picked this one. one. Yes. This, I love it. So look, this one so I this. Love. So when we get these out the packet. And also on the front, it's telling us that you're making an unfinished block size of 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Yes. But this isn't. And yeah. that just shows that you can mix and match and Absolutely. change the shape of things as well. Completely, yes. And just you do one and you've got a fantastic finished item. I love that. So, yeah. Keep an eye on that, Karen. Oh, Make gosh, sure you put it in the car. I'm going home with <laughs> <laughs> it. disappear. Nail it down. Yeah. <laughs> and then the final sample that I brought is, we saw that similar on the apron there. We saw with the geometric so carols. carols, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it is. So again, highlighting, if you'd have put other bits on the side, then you'd have seen the arrows pop out. Um, but in this way, you see that central, um, almost again, another windmill. It is. And there. again, and to me, the, one I, the part I like about this one is, when you're looking at this section here, it's almost circular. Absolutely. Isn't yes. it? It's giving you that, you know, that optical illusion. illusion, like Ben, yes. you were saying, it's giving you that circle 
sort of effect but then by adding it again we've got a different size yeah. so yeah. if you made um four of those yes you know, you're going to have a really lo your lovely little lap quilt or baby absolutely. mat or something like that. Yeah, and depending on what colours, yeah. see, obviously, the different colours you do, the different effects you're going to have as well. So these are absolutely amazing. So shall we see how the system works? Let's, let's, let's have a look. It. Right, yeah. so if we'll pop them aside. So we're going to be looking at the the Jewel Delights, which is this one. So we've got some of your fabric here. Uh, and if you've got and the dyes. Got, oh, that would help if I give you the dyes, wouldn't you? <laughs> I haven't we got this one open, actually. Have you got open. yours I've open? I've got one open. I won't open so mine. I'll use... keep mine nice you for now. You keep yours nice. <laughs> I've got mine open here, so we were going to use this So inside, one. you're going to have your die, your sets of dies that you get. In this one, there's five dies in this one. And you're also going to get your instruction manual so this is really great isn't it Karen these to work are brilliant. through so I've never worked with this system before I designed these oh, or die have you done die cutting before then I haven't That's... done die cutting before so this was your first so foray into first foray. <laughs> I, know, I know so you're our tester really so what did you think is, then when I you like found myself in, I thought it was amazing so all that cutting up of shapes that you normally have to do you just don't have any of that because it just goes straight in the machine you've got your pieces there and you just sew them together so it cuts out all of that tricky and slow process yes just and fantastic. obviously as well if you didn't have if you weren't using dies to make a uh, I want to say an, an abstract shape really you're going to be having sort of templates so you're going to be having paper or card yes. and I don't know about you but what I find is if I've got a template that I'm cutting around the cutter even if you use your rotary cutter you can trim away the paper Absolutely. and you lose the Absolutely. shape as well or if you're pinning them on you get lots of holes in yeah. so the, the shapes aren't always going to be accurate and then you've got to cut so if you're using scissors or a rotary cutter yeah. and you're not comfortable with them or you're yeah. cutting a lot so if you're making a big quilt mm. You're cutting a lot of yeah. pieces, aren't you? Yes. So these are, they are exactly that because you're getting that accuracy every time. Yeah, absolutely. So what we say here is six, six to eight layers of fabric yes. that you can cut through. Yeah. If you're using a thinner fabric, you could cut more layers. If you're using thicker fabric, so also if you're cutting four leather, because yeah. these, yeah. these can be used for applique as well. Yes, absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And the other thing, you know, you can do English paper piecing with these. If you yes, use the dies to cut your papers, and then just rough cut your fabric yes. around it yeah, yeah. you can then well, use them for that clever. as well so with all Very of clever. them yes. you can do that and then join them together if yeah. you are a hand sewer and do it that way yeah. and then hand quilt it oh that would look nice wouldn't that it that would be Nice. You're giving me an idea now. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, watch this space, watch this space. So, yes. shall we grab the um, cutting mat? Yes. Now, I have an alert, Ben. I have an alert. Well, I, I'm going to um, preempt, but I'll let you say it, but everyone's already chatting about the alert which you're about to give. <laughs> to all the comments coming through. So, um, is your alert something to do with something which is back in stock? Yes. Well, I, right. Yes. And the fabric players are yes, back in stock. Yes, it's the same thing that everyone spotted. Back in stock right now. I maybe did for a little post on Facebook last night. <laughs> I'm dead naughty, aren't I? Really naughty. But yeah, they're back in. So I knew they were imminent. I knew they were on the way, but I didn't know what date. And then they came online last night, or yesterday, maybe afternoon time. Um, the large ones. The junior ones, I'm, I don't know if they're there yet, but I know they're on the way as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, if you want the junior ones. But yeah, these are fantastic. So the, so when you've, obviously, it's the first time you've done die cutting yeah. and you've used the plate, yes. how easy did you find? Really easy. Find yeah, the whole really process. Easy. And I was slightly nervous before I did them because, as you can see, they don't lie flat, so I thought I'd got that wrong. But actually, it all just works a treat. Well, just these ones the here, the instructions I've and been using these for, when did we launch these? February? March? So I've been using these plates since then, right. but I also have my test set that I was using from January of 2020. Okay. And they're still pretty much yeah. flat as well. Yeah. So absolutely perfect yeah. when you're cutting out a lot. Fantastic. So I think is it this one we're going to cut. We're going to cut that one. Go. So if yes. I give you that. Okay. So we've got the fabric here. And that if goes you... sharp side down, doesn't it? Yes. Because that's going to cut out. Yes. And what happens is it's the pressure in the machine. Yeah. So these dies... Because you look at those and you think, that can't cut fabric. No. So it you... isn't like sharp like a, like a knife edge. No. It's the pressure in the metal that the 
and when the machine obviously squidges everything together inside in the rollers that's what's pushing the dye through the fabric and breaking the fibers yeah my favorite one is when you cut felt it crunches Ooh. i love that noise because you obviously well, we felt very compre compressed with layers isn't it? here we've got we might, we might get a bit of a crunch we, you might get a bit of a crunch yeah. and all that is is just the pressure working yeah. and going through it yes right so we're going to so we've done clear plate a plate fabric die facing down your B plate and then you were the clear and they are the only plates that you need and just about because you were chatting beforehand about the plates as well the A and the B plate making sure you get those the right way around as well yeah yes so, you are, so when you get your plates at home there is um there is an instruction sheet in with them that lets you know that but if you do because the A plate is slightly thicker than the B to take the pressure and it's to get the exact pressure for the machine if you accidentally cut it the other way cut them into the B it's not the end of the world and um, just revert back to putting them into the air and you'll flip and twist them like okay. um liana was telling us to do so you're always going to do that i forget yeah i forget don't um, tell you just whilst we uh, get ready to see the next part of the demo, let me just remind you of all of uh, the details that we've got uh, for the brand new Builder Block. So we're looking at the Bejeweled Delights right now, five elements in total. And don't forget, you get all of the instructions included with each one of the brand new Builder Blocks. Um, so you can make, as far as your, um, uh, your uh, Bejeweled Delights is concerned, details to make your table runner, details to make that storage caddy, uh, details as well to make uh, the beautiful quilts in here. So the value for money is amazing. And as we've said, if you've not used these before, it's all about the accuracy. It's all about the quickness. I love the fact about making like little table runners and placemats this time of year. Because of course, you know, if you did get your hands on that Christmas fabric, which sold out, uh, you know, maybe you've got some of that. Maybe you are thinking about making yourself some beautiful table runners this year. Maybe you are thinking about uh, potentially, you know, making yourself um, some, you know, uh, cushion covers, those kind of things. That's what you've got the ability to do with these collections really swiftly, really quickly. Uh, and it is that whole idea of um, the accuracy each and every single time uh, that you're using these. £22.39 Platinum or $25.57 uh, is the Platinum price if you're shopping with us in the US. Plenty of uh, chat coming in. Yes, as we've discovered, the fabric plate's back in stock. Lots of you uh, losing your minds about that. Uh, Pammy says, ooh, maybe I should make a table runner too. Uh, and Laura May just saying, I love my fabric plates. They are available. Uh, head to the website .uk or .eu. Uh, search for those, get them in your basket, get them checked out as a priority because uh, I have a feeling they are going to be uh, fast flying out of stock once again. Right, so we passed our, um, our dice through. How are we looking, ladies? So we've waited to do the big reveal okay. there. Would you like we to do the honest current? So this is eight layers of quality cotton fabric. Yeah. And then just pull just them out. Look oh, at yes. that. Absolutely perfect. Now, what you can do is you can cut, if you're cutting a lot of these, you can use your... Um, fold your fabric into strips or you can cut it as well and then what you would do then is you can then obviously pretend we've got a longer strip they would just nest that would just nest just back up to there up, so you're not you're only going to be you know and you're not even wasting fabric because even if you're hand cutting you're going to have fabric that you waste mm. i keep all my scraps and use them for yeah, stuffing exactly um i made a a cube big cube dice a couple of weeks ago on the shore Ooh. and i brought in all of my fabric scraps that oh. i had and it, it really filled it. i've still got loads left but it really filled it and worked well so that's how easy you can see that that's cutting through the fabric so you're going to cut all your pieces out however many you need what you can do and um, if you undecided what you're going to turn the project into cut one block just cut yeah, one block out absolutely. and then see how you feel about it because mm. you might cut all your pieces but then decide that you want to colour in a different place. Exactly. So I like to do that. Yes. Is that yes. Right. Yeah. So if in we fact what I did with side, with um both of these big ones, what I did with those was I, I decided on the centre and I cut those fabrics out and then I worked outwards ah, right. and tried to fix it in right. together like So where that. did you get the inspiration? Because obviously we, we obviously spoke to yourself and yes. we have spoken with the lovely Jo Avery yes. we had on a couple of months ago. Absolutely. You are um, together, you have a business together We have a business well, together, yeah. the Thread House that we have with Lynn uh, Goldsworthy as well. So I know we asked Jo well, yeah. how she got her inspiration yeah. for for the block so were these designs that you already had at home and then 
they were similar. Those. I mean, I wouldn't say that these exactly were the designs because, as we've seen from these designs, it's really hard to do traditionally. It's hard to cut traditionally. Yes. So what this system allows us to do is to take some similar designs and expand them, make them that little bit more complex because of the way that we piece with Builder Block. That's the thing, isn't it? So we, we can, can do we more can, we can, detail. We can turn it into a Builder Block. Exactly. Which is what is exactly. absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. So, yeah. right, so shall we start putting some yes. of these together? So, in good old Blue Peter style, here's some we put <laughs> out earlier because I know we all like to get to the sewing, don't we? We do. The cutting we outs, do. The, you know, I mean, this didn't take long anyway, did it? But it, we don't need everybody to watch that. Do you know that, what takes me so. the most time? Picking the fabric. Exactly. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. So, I've got yeah. the um, booklet here again. And inside the booklet, just obviously, we've already cut ours out, but there's lots of hints and tips in here. So if you've never cut with a die, die cutting machine before, you've got all of your tips here. We also give some information about cutting on the grain line. And the grain line is where, obviously, if you're cutting fabric, if you've got something on a diagonal, it's going to have a little bit of a, a give, okay? Mm -hmm. And what I find, Karen, is if, if I'm cutting two pieces out that have an angle like that, let me grab a pink one because that one would go there if you want your stretchy fabric to be stitched to st stretchy yes. fabric yes you want it to be the same direction whichever yes. way the seam is you want it to be the same so that's why we've give you this guide here if when you first do it it goes a little bit strange don't worry because you that's how you sort of work out how it fits together Exactly. You know, so if you exactly. say if you follow the the way you put the dies onto the fabric, you'll work through it, and then we straight into here. So what this we is give brilliant. you, it's fantastic, this is all just isn't fantastic. it? It's, and I love it's, that it's colour coded as well. Yes. So what we've done here is we've give you how to cut out for a, a straightforward twelve and a half inch block, and then we give you the patterns for those three yeah. items projects in each set. So you're going to have a quilt. In this one, we've got the quilt, the table runner, the storage caddy as well, which is fantastic mm. because it actually has a drawstring top as well. So we're giving you other techniques yeah. as well. So as well as, you know, you're not just got the dies and then where do I go from here? So what we're going to do is if we put together one a block, tip, just to oh go back to God, here, God, just tips, to go back to here, tips. if you're new at all of this and you're new at using the dies, one thing that's really useful because these are all colour coded is to make a sample, even quarter block, the same colours as Great here, idea. because mm. then you can see exactly where they match in. Yes. Sometimes it's hard to, you're so fooled by the, that light blue you're not sure what where to do something different because yes, your place. blue might be what you're doing there ready exactly. there as well yes. that's a great idea yeah. that great tip there oh we love top tips tip. we love <laughs> we need a little top tip ping a little yes. light bulb but thing yeah. back always. in the day yeah. uh, <laughs> there used to be one of those didn't there um, Did just i'm sure i'm sure Oh, that, was that at the other place? Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Another channel. Uh, that was embarrassing. Um, just, I know you've already covered this as well, but I know we've got people, um, we've got people joining in all the time. Alexia's just saying, how many layers will the, um, will the dice cut through? So we've got, so these are the ones that we cut here. We've cut through eight layers absolutely perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Straight through. You can, you could push to 12, you can see, or to 10, see how your machine goes because every machine is is slightly different like a minuscule bit of pressure mm, yeah i don't know what pressure is measured in oh, actually i do because i was watching it on a quiz show yesterday is it and and uh, i know i know i could have told you if you hadn't my said my son would know it's, i can't remember what it is now it's an but engineer. it's a mini, little minuscule difference yeah. so you'll see you'll get the feel of your machine but we recommend up to six layers but here we've cut eight and i must admit i normally cut eight layers at I a do time eight, but eight then layers. if you've got a th so if yeah. you're cutting organza or tissue yeah you you're going to be cutting through a yes. lot you know pascal. 20 pascal there we go so the tiny <laughs> pascal <laughs> it's that small one pascal. a little a that's little probably bit. about a million pascal a there or something <laughs> <laughs> but then if you're going to be cutting, say, your faux leather or your cork or like upholstery fabric and things like that, the dies will cut it, but you're going to have less layers. And felt, like I say, is my favourite because you get that lovely crunch. Oh, so you need to when you get that. home, I'm cut some felt and you hear that. it. I love yeah. the noise of it. I love it. Yeah. So let's start putting our blocks together. Now, the good thing in here is it's telling you step by step which pieces to put together. Mm. 
And what I like to do, I don't know if you do this as well, Cameron, is I like to lie my blocks out in front yep, of me so I can I see do. what I'm going to be yes. stitching. So this is step one here. And we always recommend a quarter inch seam allowance. Yep. And then step two, we've got those pieces. So I'll let you pop that Ooh, block get together. Rid of a little stray bit. That way Maybe around. about felt as well, but it, what sort of materials are we able to um, cut through with our builder blocks? So, because they are they like deep dish dies, they're mm. thicker dies, so they're multimedia dies. So, obviously, <coughs> you can cut your paper and your card, you're going to cut more layers of it. Um, craft um, metal. Yeah. And I know how Debbie likes to cut her aluminium cans, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. And they're with the, the paper craft dies that we bring. Yeah. So, you'd imagine you can cut a couple of layers using these dies as well. Um, Hessian, cork board, mount board, you know, any. Any, anything that's gonna, that you can mm. really cut with a pair of scissors. Yeah. Because it's not a blade that you're going to be no, damaging, it's the is it? So. Yeah. It's them Pascals yeah. that are working. Them that's what it is. No, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so you can cut through a lot. So, we've got our um, pieces laid together here. So, we've got step one is here. And then you're just doing step two there. And then we've got step three on the top. And we've got the pieces later. Looks a bit like Actually, an ice cream corn. <laughs> it, it does. It does. Especially in those colours. Oh, we shouldn't start talking about food. Yeah. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. Bertie's brought in the flapjack today. I have. I, brought, I did promise as well. I posted mm. last night that I was bringing it in. So there's cherry or plain. Did you have a slice, Karen? Not yet. Oh, you need to. It's going quickly. Didn't want quickly. it to get stuck in my teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we're going to stitch this piece on here, and what you can see here, and I don't know you'll have spotted these, that yes, we put the doggy is absolutely, off. it's brilliant. And that's for two purposes, really. So one, it's, it helps you line up the pieces, because they are different funny shapes, if yeah, you like, they're not a absolutely. regular square or triangle. And it's really hard, if you actually had these traditionally with the triangles on the end here, the dog ears, it's really easy to get it slightly out of alignment. Yes. And then you're pieces are just that little bit inaccurate but here it just overlaps in exactly the right places and also um, as well I'll, I don't know if you like to use pins I'm not a pin not for small uh, pieces no I, I do bigger to, things I tend to go without pin for a small piece yeah but if you are going to pin just for that bit of security when you're starting out how I like to pin is to pin it towards sort of uh, always the go across degree, the across, stitch line rather than up. yeah rather than up like that yes because obviously you need to pull those pins out as you're stitching so if yeah. you are going to put a pin in and to be honest on these ones if you needed to put a pin in i would probably just put one in the middle yes if you needed to um so have you seen we've seen our uh, yes you know i'm a little bit <laughs> um got a little bit of a bone to pick about that oh wow well oh, i was watching watching joe's video and um saw joe presenting her builder blocks and uh, apparently one of these popped out in her uh -oh. parcel mm, trouble Awkward. didn't, didn't Awkward. fall out in one of mine oh, uh -oh. Yeah, because they were on that <laughs> show when joey yes. was here oh yeah. well I'll tell you what leave that with me and i'll uh, i'll sort you one out fabulous there you go fabulous <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it right as well karen and, and you can have, you can have yes. an extra piece of flapjack yeah. as well yeah <laughs> <laughs> so if i just quickly take this to the machine and just saw so i'm just doing a quarter inch seam so on your machine at home if you use a quarter inch foot or if you're changing the setting um i change the setting on the machine to 5.5 .5 on this one which is then you can use the side of your standard foot so you don't need to change your foot but you'll set your machine up the way that you do it and then when we come to pressing now we've got the pressing bar oh, yeah. there if we just bring, bring that, that up, up let me pop these out the way so if i give you that now which when you press your seams how, how do you press them? i always press um to one side Perfect. what do you do bernie to the side yeah definitely yes. i actually yeah don't understand people that split it the only time i do split it is if i've got um a lot of oh. seams in one place when i'm putting something yes. together yes what i would do is i would nest them all so they'll all nest yep. to the side and then the final seam i would You'd maybe press press it open. in the middle yeah and obviously trim away a little bit of the, yep. the seam yeah if it gets a bit bulky but otherwise yes i press to the, press to the, to to the, the side. side to the dark side if possible as yes well. Yeah. So now we're going to pop to on that. the other side. So again, we've got where we've got those doggy ears off there. So I'm going to pop that over to the 
side and again I'm just going to quickly stitch up here and then we we threw we part way through this one now we've got that other little one just to put together and then we've got actually one quarter of the block done so Already if done, I give you we? that one and then I'm going to stitch these so with this one here if we come down to here so we're stitching these two together and again, I say, well, that's straight. But if yeah, I flip if that yes. over, you can see that the dog ears are being cut off this triangular piece so you can fit that on there perfectly. Yeah, and that's the beauty of these dies, isn't it's, it? They fit together so well. What happens is, um, if when we when we sort of developing and designing products as well and looking at products, we always try and we want it to be perfect. We want it to be accurate, and we want it to be. Um, achievable yeah and if we can do something we'll let you pass that if we can do something that makes it that little bit easier that little bit quicker then we'll do that and i think that then because you want to enjoy your sewing i, I know Absolutely. obviously because you do it as a job karen like i do you still want to enjoy doing Absolutely. it don't you? otherwise it just becomes a chore doesn't yeah. it and it's Definitely. not something that you're looking forward to oh. doing so we've now got this piece here and we've done this piece here so then we're going to stitch this little bit on the top and then we can pop them together so again oh have I done those the wrong way did I give those to you the wrong way ah uh, uh, maybe so but you've still got the point they still match yeah. yes they still match yeah. on the end yeah <gasps> So that's one thing to um, be careful and I, of these I little didn't ones. Check, I didn't check that. What what I didn't do was read my pattern when ah, I was putting them together. You thought I knew what and I was doing, didn't you? <laughs> if I'd looked at it, it showed you which way I put them together. I would have saw them right. But they're still right. It just means that the, you can see how you can see the little dog yes. ears there. Had we have put them together, which way around would it be? That way. There we go. Yep. There we so go. You see there, that the, would have lined those up. Those two oh, seams yeah. together. But it's still Never works. Never mind. This, these things happen. And it's, like you say, if, um, if it still fits together, which it does, you're laughing. Yeah. We're laughing. You're laughing. All right. There we go. And it is so quick, isn't it? Oh, it is really, really quick. Um, oh, we press that one. That's our ice cream corn. <laughs> I think it looks like an ice cream cone. You had me this morning, Bernie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Mum's not doing dinner today neither, so I'll Oh, you haven't got Sunday dinner today? No, oh. I'll, be, I'll be ravenous shortly. Disappointment. <laughs> Have another flapjack. Well, I've got to go food shopping after work, so oh. that's the worst yes. time yet. Yeah. Adam said in my ear, it is yeah. definitely Adam. Mm. That is the worst time to go shopping. So, we're up to here. So, we're up to step five now. We've only got step six to Fine go. Through. So, we've got this one here. You're going to position that one onto that side like that and you're going to stitch those together now once you've stitched those together this is what you're going to get ah. and that is one quarter of your shape so if you see here we've got we've got four of those so you're going to make four of those identical and pop them all together and they that's going to make your 12 inch block so if we bring in the one that you um made karen and we can just show this everyone one. how this fits on. Yeah. So although this isn't a, a block, a 12 inch block, if we bring in this piece here, and if we look here, we can see, so here's the ice cream corn. Yep. Let's give them strange <laughs> names. So here's the ice cream corn, which is that one this there. This one here. So you can see that, see how they would fit on the top of there. Oh yeah. And then the other section is this here. here here and it's it goes all the way around so if i bring this one in here and place that on there can we see there that that's that section Got so you. you would make how many would you make you'd make the four. this bit would go on here wouldn't it that's it and then you've got so four of those pieces on the wrong side. i'm not having a yes. good day today ben I've no you haven't the wrong side. no you haven't that's fine <laughs> oh yes yeah, so because that yeah. would still go around there so yes. four of those yeah four yeah. of those yeah 
Four of those, yeah. that's it. It was just an extra piece on yes. there. Yeah. So yeah, so four of those, and then you're putting those together and you're getting that totally different look. And I really like that. And like you were saying, doing those in Christmas fabrics. Mm. That would be fantastic, as well, wouldn't would be it? would be amazing. Really striking. And also as well, you can make, you know, if you had like a table runner and had these as your place maps Absolutely. on Christmas Day. Ooh, Ooh, very nice. Oh, lovely. I watched very the show nice. last week because I made a cutlery holder. As oh, well, yes. you could use do, make one of those dead easy in matching fabrics and have your table all set for Christmas. Oh, Sorted, yeah. Now you so just can got we just to make see, it. I know. Can we see your other couple of samples again just before we yes. um, finish? Because I just want to enjoy so the questions coming in as well, which we'll do in a second. There was oh, the, brilliant. There was so Catherine this is the Catherine wheel. wheel, and this is the one that where you've hand stitched around the outside. Yes. And, it, and do you use a, um, a thicker thread for that? I do, yes. It's a 12-weight thread. Uh -huh. In fact, this is a wool... Am I allowed to mention brands? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Am I going to get into trouble? Do so it. Maybe the brand I like. I use Aurifil. Yes. yes. <laughs> this is the Aurifil wool. Yes. We've, so we've the sold Aurifil. Um, yes. Uh, yes. The, stitch, the sewing thread. Yeah. Not the heavy weight, but yes. we've had those on the show before. So, yeah, yeah they are a lovely, yeah. lovely thread. So, yeah, so that's really good. So that's because I was thinking, could you use, like, embroidery floss as well? You could. Uh -huh. Yes, you absolutely yeah, could. So you could. And the other thing, if you don't like to hand quilt, you actually can put this 12 weight into the top of your machine. Really? Yeah. Have you never oh, tried that? No. Yeah, it learning. works. It I've works beautifully. Yeah, I've Keep your 50 weight in your bobbin underneath, uh -huh. and then just either the cotton 12 weight or the wool works really nicely in the top. top tips yes. another top and tip. then this was the um, this is the last one um which is geometric our geometric arrows, arrows. Isn't it? I, arrows. Love, yeah. I love this one absolutely I, love it. I think i know i was saying I, I really like that one i think the reason why i like that one was because of the the, the angle because it was different and exactly. it just and yes. what i like to do Karen, every week is whatever i'm doing i like to so say it was a bag die i like to make something else with it that yes. isn't a bag just to yeah. show the versatility yeah. and that's what this does perfectly it, does. it shows that it really versatility. does and it's not very often that you get a shape with our quilting that isn't a square or a rectangle yes. but uh it's and something it's a little bit different really achievable and really enjoyable and that's i think what the builder blocks are aren't they they They're do i mean it's the first that. time you've used yeah. dyes which yes. is fantastic yeah. you know that you it's your first sort of go using them yeah obviously the your designs as well so yeah. to see them know, then great. being stitched out is Absolutely. amazing isn't it yeah great fun brilliant we'll so yeah so i think i think we've had a bit of fun ben do we have some questions have we got have we got any questions we have got a, a few questions Ooh. coming in just to say i'm really enjoying this show i'd like to take a bit of a back seat watching you two have a <laughs> natter on oh, i'm gonna get a cup of coffee in a minute this is brilliant <laughs> but it's so good to see and um great to see you guys work together as well um yeah just a few sort of i would say random questions coming through so um <laughs> pammy e says ben could you please ask what backing i should use for a kitchen a mixer cover oh well i would say that cotton is is a good shout isn't yeah, it definitely. because you can put it in the wash yes and it's going to withstand a lot of washing so yeah. if you know if you if you've put it over uh, you know, if you've got someone knocking at the door and you've been using it, you've mm. still got it. You know, you haven't you haven't put it in the washer yet. You've just finished it. You just put the cover over, so it's nice and pretty. So if it gets anything on it, it can go in the washer. Um, yeah. You can um, obviously we've got our um, fabric shield spray as well. Oh yeah. That you can spray to keep fabric from oh. getting dusty and things. But I wouldn't recommend that for food. I would do that on cushions and bags yes. and things like that. Yeah. So, and even, I suppose, oil cloth you could have. You could. So you I think clean. the main thing you have to be careful of really is not having something that's, if you are going to wash it, that's going to be too different yes. from the front because yeah. it might shrink or mm -hmm. it might... Um, the other thing as well, so we've also got on the show 100% cotton wadding which is perfect because perfect. that's going to be yeah. really really ideal for it as well yeah so if it's getting near any heat or anything as well so yes yeah, so i would go for cotton definitely all right yeah. um we'll flash up the details for that shortly beverly says on youtube will you be doing the apple core again I am sure we will have the apple car on again. Um, I haven't, I've got my show for next week and I don't think it's on that, but I'll keep an eye out. And I'll actually, the lady who puts our shows together, the yeah. products, I'll pass that on for us to get the apple car on so I can do another apple car demo. Um, and this final question for now, it's a little bit of an essay. <laughs> Terry says, I backstitch when I do fun and done quilting. I was scolded by a quilter. 
One, fun and done is not quilting. Two, never backstitch when quilting. My question is, is it okay to backstitch? Ooh. Oh, yeah. So, it's, it, I don't, for me, it's not a um, thing of whether it's okay or not. It's, it's what you prefer to exactly, do. Right, surely. So, when you're, when you're doing patchwork, if I grab the blocks that we've been stitching here. So, say when I've stitched these two pieces together, they are then going to get stitched to another piece. So, on the back, it's going to be locked here yeah by you stitching the other seam so it's going to lock it in so you know you don't necessarily need to however if i'm sewing strips together say for example to make a bargello quilt where you sew all your fabric so the strip roll we've got at the top of the show absolutely perfect for that sew all your different colored strips together sew them into a tube and then subcut them when you're subcutting them sometimes you might be cutting an, an inch wide piece mm. so your seams could possibly mm. come away a little bit yeah um, so i would say in that instance shorten your stitch length um but if you do want to back stitch that's totally totally up to you yeah it's not going to it's not going to affect the finished product no it's, it's not, not going to harm anything no it really isn't it's and we talked earlier on about rules are there to be broken aren't exactly. they exactly so and if, we, a, if it suits you to break the rule then by all means do we it. were chatting before the show as well and yeah. i said i'm a bit of a rebel yeah. at doing things so is karen so we've got two rebels today ben so you've got no Hopeless. chance today Hopeless. Hopeless. I'll put you there as well because i'll be a rebel <laughs> i think the point is and we chat about it a lot when we do a paper craft shows we kind of give you our opinions we give you our hints and tips but if you find that you do something that works for you you, you do what works for you i, I think that's yeah. the, the thing isn't it yeah um, so yes, any more yeah. questions that you want to ask, by the way, uh, you can get those uh, into us. We've got uh, another 45 minutes to go or so. So if you uh, want to get in touch on Facebook, get in touch on YouTube, uh, you can do. Uh, Rosalind on Facebook just saying, okay, uh, she's just made the decision for me. I want this set. Uh, don't forget, we've got the geometric arrows in the uh, brand new builder blocks. You've got the Catherine wheel and also those Bejewel delights as well. So whichever you want to go for, you might want to go for all of them. Um, it's entirely up to you. 22.39 or 25.57 is the platinum price uh, on those. Now, uh, we've got a beautiful collection of fabrics um, from uh, the Rose and Hubble collection. Now, you're going to get all four of these plus uh, the Scarlet. It works out, actually, that you're getting the Scarlet for free within this collection. We have got um, other selections of colours uh, from the Rose and uh, Hubble uh, collection on the website. We basically put these together, as I understand it, to work beautifully with the, um, the Christmas uh, patterns that we had. On our, um, on our show, which sold out. So if you manage to get hold of the brand new fabric, uh, then these will go with that uh, as well. But ideally, you know, if you just love the color uh, palette right there, you can pick those up. Uh, you're getting five half meter uh, sets, but you're only paying for four. 11 pounds 17, that's a great buy. Or $15.97 uh, is the platinum price on that. Uh, and again, chatting about the uh, wadding, the cotton wadding. So that was answering uh, whose question it was that it was da -da -da -da, Pam E. If you need any wadding, uh, we've got the So Simple Super Soft 100% uh, cotton wadding there. That is £8.49 or $11.99. Uh, £6.79 if you're platinum or $9.59 uh, if you're shopping with us in the US. We've also got on the show today um, a selection of your um, patchwork dies as well. Um, which again, a really, really super bundle right here um, of all different shapes, all different sizes as well. And we haven't had these on the show since the 5th of September. So if you've missed out on these, wanted to get your hands on them, uh, you can jump in and grab them now. So in this collection, um, you've got your um, half equilateral triangles, eight in their different sizes, ranging from um, uh, uh, 1.4 inches up to four and a half inches. Uh, you've then got your, um, your half 60 degree diamonds, again, uh, eight in that collection, uh, ranging through from uh, 1.4 to four and a half inches. You've got your set of um, 45 degree diamonds as well. Uh, you've got your half 45s in there too. And then lastly is your uh, half clamshells. Again, seven dies in total there. Don't forget all of these uh, multimedia dies just giving you uh, that time-saving accuracy. Um, I think that's the thing to say about all of our um, multimedia dies. Um, 100 pounds platinum, $112. Big saving again today as well. Should be 170 pounds, $192. Everyone saves 44.95 or 52.75. 100 pounds on the nose for platinum members or 112 
$12 if you're shopping with us in the US. Lots of interest in the brand new builder blocks, producer Johnny just telling me, uh, and the Catherine wheel proving the most popular so far. Uh, a quarter of the stock of that one uh, has already gone. I think a lot of you have been um, just having a bit of a watch, looking at the demo, seeing how easy it is to work with these, and now you've taken the plunge uh, as well. And it's the Catherine wheel that is uh, certainly out in front as far as the stocks are concerned. 22.39, 25.57, uh, and keep those comments coming through as well. Uh, lots of chat about just some of the samples that we saw with um, Bernie and Karen a few moments ago. Michelle on YouTube saying the top mat uh, looks like a northern star done in Christmas fabrics. Uh, would be beautiful for Christmas. I love that chat um, earlier on about making your own like table runners for Christmas, place mats. I saw your um, cutlery holder last week as well, Bernie. I just think it's such a nice idea, isn't it? Making bespoke items uh, for this Christmas. Um, really, really lovely idea. Uh, Pammy just saying, yes, I have the wadding. So thank you, Bernie. That was about the mixer. Um, and Michelle on YouTube, another question says, does one wadding work better than the other if you want to make a quilt really warm? Good question. So the wool one is a little tiny bit warmer. Um, or the 100% the cotton one as well. It's the difference. It, this, they all drape the same all of the um, ones that have cotton in them, yeah. they'll all drape the same. It's the quilting of them that are a little bit different. So some you need to quilt more of it than others. Because what will happen is when it washes, any wadding, if it's not stitched together in a sandwich, yeah. it'll come away, which is why you have to quilt. So with anything. But then also we've got the polyester wadding on. The polyester wadding's got a higher loft. So if you want something, a, you know, a little bit more chunky, so say like a baby's play mat or something mm -hmm. like that, you want something that's more structured, but still soft, then you'd go for the polyester one. So, and also if you're making um, ball cozies and things like that, that you're going to put in the microwave, 100% cotton's perfect for that as well. You don't want any polyester in that. Um, and just to say as well, um, Shadai's message saying, Lord Ben, the fabric is sold out. Are you? Are you must be talking about the uh, the Christmas the Christmas fabric. That's definitely sold out. Um, if you missed it, you die at the start of the show. We did have that gorgeous new Christmas fabric, but Bernie, as you know, she you know, tells everybody, and it went it went before the show. So that's why that has gone. Um, well done if you did manage to get your uh, hands on it. Uh, right. 40 minutes to go, lots more to show you. We'll have another uh, chat with Cameron in just a few moments time. Um, but you've got some samples over there, Bernard, just to show us through these, um, these pat patchwork dies. I have, yes. And I'm gonna make a Christmas star. Oh, but I'm, okay. using, I'm using the Christmas fabric. I'm really sorry. You're such a tease. I'm using the plain bundle as well, though, so I'm, I'm, I'm covering myself there. Just about, <laughs> just about. We'll let you off. But these are brilliant because, yeah, we launched them in September. They've been really, really popular. You can get the whole set today, but also you can buy them in pairs. Mm -hmm. So if you just want yep. a couple of them and you can't stretch to that big bundle, you can buy them in pairs. And we've paired them as well to go together. Um, I love this bag here. I just this is the front of the bag. So this is the half 45 degree diamond here. So you can see you've got the diamond here. But then here you've got the full diamond. So they just fit together perfectly and you're getting different sizes in here. Let me just turn this bag over. Are you ready? Are you ready, Ben? Go on. Well, you see the pocket on the back? Look at that! Oh, that is How cute. cute is that? That is cute. Absolutely. So it's a pocket, you know, so you can use it. It's not just for decoration. Absolutely amazing. And they're with the smaller sizes in there, but exactly the same pattern of those half shapes and the full shape. Absolutely. I just absolutely love that. It's amazing. Can I, Bernie, can I just hang on a second? I need to pause you for a second. Oh, no. Shadai was right. <laughs> we thought there's no way. There's no way. They, literally, the uh, Rose Hubble collection that I just showed you, don't scream and shout. It's now sold out. Sold out. It's gone. Yeah. Uh, Shall we just all go and sit on the sofa and have a chat? Well, I'm up for that. I mean, we've got the we've got the flapjack. We've got the coffee out there. We yeah. could just have a bit of a natter for the last 35. No, we can't. We'd get in trouble, wouldn't we? Pro well, I don't know. Maybe. Um, I'm going to go and sit over there in a minute and have a chatter. I think. But uh, let's get back to these guys. I can't believe it, Bernie. What are you doing to me? Uh, we've got some more fabric on the show as well later on, so we'll yeah. see how that goes as yeah, well. Just double checking. Some really, it's still there. really good deals on. So I just want to show you this. So when we launched in September, I did this table runner as the um, month monthly make 
I have to go the right way. There we go. You can see it if I hold it that way. And all I did was I used the different sizes and the half and the full shapes. You can see there. Yeah. Put it together to make a gorgeous table runner. And this was all with our Threaders Blenders fabrics. They they are still on the website. We haven't got them on the show, but they are still on the website. So that was the um, the deep ocean and the sea foam and the ocean waves. If Beautiful. you wanted to make that one. So again, that's it. Now my other one, and I was going to demo the clamshells on the show today, but we just me and Karen just got carried away talking we just spent loads of time so I'm going to show the clamshells I'll show them in another week as well because okay. I love this one this so the normal clamshell is this design here not the normal the full size clamshell wow. and you can put them together in different ways so here they've been staggered on an angle and I think that looks like a like a lovely like a landscape it does sort of scene doesn't it mm. but you could use like you you glittery fabrics and things like that you could make them like mermaid scales I couldn't you yeah, be idea. fantastic but then look at this and Zoe in our design team Zoe Ballard I'm giving you a full shout out because I can't remember the names of everyone's makes on here but I know that Zoe made this one this is stunning absolutely look at that this is the half clamshell so you can uh, I did demo this in the show in the beginning of September if you search back on the shows when we launched these dies I did demo how to make this and it's actually there's your square there so you're putting four together, oh, making a square, okay. you see, yeah, and yeah. then you're just putting squares together. So, really it's, you know, it is really, really achievable. So that one's the clamshell. And then the last one I'm going to show you here, this is the 60 degree half diamond. So we already have the 60 degree diamond, but you can get that one with the half one um, yeah. in a bundle. And oh. we can see here we've got like a Christmas star, but on a cushion. So what I thought would I'm, I'm going to use the 45, but I'm going to make a 3D Christmas star using the Christmas fabric and the plane that I thought there'd be some left and now we've got none left. So, so yeah, so we'll not, we'll gloss over this beautiful uh, Christmas fabric and the planes. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see it burning if I'm being honest. Uh, no. <laughs> so with, a, um, with these dies here, you're getting from one inches all the way up to four and a half inches and I just need to remember which I think it was the three three inch ones I cut yes so I cut the three inch ones so all you're going to do is count down so four and a half four three so then three and a half three that's that one so I'm going to get my fabric plates that are back in stock <laughs> I was overjoyed yesterday when I saw that they were back in stock Absolutely. nice that we've got something in stock I know. <laughs> <laughs> they probably won't be for long, though. For and me, I know yeah, I, won't, I won't gush on about this fabric too much. However, the great thing with dyes as well is you can fussy cut. Yeah. So if you are wanting to make sure that you get the little fox in the picture, you can get your um, dye on there so it fits. So I'm just going to quickly show you how these cut. And what you're going to need is four of the full-size diamond and eight of these but in two different colors so i've got the ivory and i've got the gold so again i've got those sizes counting down so four and a half four three and a half three there you go so i'm going to pop that on there and then i'm just going to pop that through the machine and i have done quite a bit of sewing ahead on this one so it, Otherwise, would be would be till three o'clock. Debbie wouldn't be happy, would she? Debbie Robinson coming in, and <laughs> I'm still sewing. <laughs> yeah, she's coming up for a uh, craft along at uh, three o'clock. Ah, no, yes. over there. <laughs> You've moved. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Find Ben. He's Bernie. Ben Wally. Oh, there he is. He's there. Mind. Ah, ben. Ah. Oh yes! I'll have to watch that back because oh. I missed it because I was too busy, too busy that, looking at where the, I was going. On my weekly wrap up this week. Here's <laughs> the moment when Adam <laughs> couldn't find me on the camera. Uh, <laughs> yes, we've got uh, Amia. How can you miss this? Uh, yeah, Debbie's, <laughs> Debbie's coming up. The <laughs> craft along at three. Um, <laughs> we've got second chance Sunday um, from seven o'clock tonight, um, which is well, we've got loads of items on that show. Uh, literally, we're going to need a bigger studio for the amount of items that we've got. <laughs> uh, Dreamy's back in stock is the um, the big headline. If that hasn't all flown out of the door already, it is a busy, busy Sunday, Bernie. So the other thing I just wanted to show you here is I cut out two of the full size and eight 
of the half size but I put them through at the same time so the machine is clever and it knows that you've got different layers yeah and different thicknesses but it still cuts them so you don't have to cut all of those separate and all of those separate because they're different thicknesses so you can put different um materials through as well so you could put cotton through felt you know you um upholstery fabric you four leather you could put them all through on the same plate in the same pass as well as many as you can fit on that plate you can pop them through yeah and then what we're going to do is make a design so let me get i already cut those two so you're going to have your plain as the half pieces and the full pieces i've got as my my chosen from my stash <laughs> Christmas uh, fabric but this doesn't have to be Christmas neither you know this can be all year round it can be birthday you know anything just just as a, a decoration in the home you know if you just go with your colour choices um, that you have in your home yeah. and then what I've done is the two tone on the half pieces and it just gives it, it's a bit like the light and shade sort yeah. of thing to give it a little bit of a shadow. Alexis so, says, um, when you mix the paired styles, do you match the sizes? Yes. Mm. Yes. So they're going to fit together if you match the sizes. So then all you're going to do is you're going to place your half pieces together and you're going to stitch all the way down and then you're going to press it open. Yeah. And then what you'll find is once you press that open, it's exactly the same shape as the full one now because we've incorporated the seam allowance so again it looks a little bit strange that we've got a bit cut off here so what this is doing is it's cutting off those pointy bits and it's getting rid of your doggies and the reason why it cuts off the pointy bits is when you try to put it under your machine what can happen is sometimes if you haven't really got a lot of fabric on your feed dogs your feed dogs haven't got anything to grab onto so it pulls it down so if ever you're stitching at the start and your fabric and whatever you're working on gets pulled down into the feed dogs it's potentially because it's there's, there's the feed dogs aren't there's nothing hardly for it to grab onto just a few layers so by having that sort of a bit chunky at the end the other way around it is you could get a scrap of fabric um, and they called um, well, people call them different names but you can call it sort of a little leader or thingy-majig or something a little scrap of fabric sew on that first yeah. leave that attached without cutting your thread then start working on your project and then that was you know when you were trying to what were you trying to do were your underpants you were trying to sew your underpants <laughs> <laughs> and it was getting jammed and I'd suggested that to you, hadn't I, about trying a little bit of fabric. <laughs> How do you even remember? I can't, I remember so I, everything. I got, yes, I got... <laughs> Bernie lent me a sewing machine and I haven't gone too far with it but I've learned how to do little repairs and I managed to repair a pair of my cricket trousers and then yes no I wasn't re I wasn't repair I wasn't repairing my underpants I was trying to make this is such a strange story I was <laughs> I was trying to make this is so weird my dog wears little bandanas around his collar I was trying Make my dog a bandana out of a pair of my pants. <laughs> In the pants. Yeah. No, 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 but what it was. The underpants. Oh, the underpants. I support a particular rugby team, and the underpants were the colours of that rugby team with the logo, and I wanted him to have the bandana, so I was, that's what I was trying to do. But did you make it, Ben? Did you manage it? <laughs> I'm not going to offer to do it for you, I'm sorry. I'm not giving you a pair of my pants, Bernie. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a bit hot. Is anyone else in the studio? <laughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Anyway, shall I go back to my star Just, then? Yeah, carry on. Chat about something else. So while you were telling the story about the underpants, I, I stitched mine. I stitched it. I didn't. I've got them they're all here. Uh. I can see them there. So I've stitched <laughs> them all together. And the one thing with directional fabric is, because obviously this is going to have a loop on, yep. so if you make sure that if you're using directional fabric, it's, it's upright or to the side, and so it's not upside down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little bit of a hanging loop at the top with a little bit of um, ribbon. So I've just got a little bit of red there. So I've got a top tip on mm. putting ribbon on. Mm -hmm. Is What you find is you put your fabric together and sometimes your ribbon can get caught in the stitching so what i do is i find the top of my piece i'm going to back it with the plane as well which i'll so i'll put them together in a second but i just want to show you how i actually put this together here so i've got it on the top there so i know that's where i want to stitch it and i'll get some of the pins 
and I'm just going to pin pin it in place. Yeah. This is really thin ribbon, so I'll just pop a couple of little pins in just to hold it. And then what I'm going to do, before I start sewing the backing on, I'm just going to stitch across that point there. Just a few little stitches. And this is where it may help by having that little bit of scrap fabric stitched underneath first. So let me, where have I put my rotary cutter? Um, <coughs> So this is what I was saying about putting those uh, little bit of scrap, sewing that little bit of scrap first. So I've just gone on to there. So I've sewn that there and I'm not going to take that out. I'm going to take this straight to the machine. Uh -huh. And now the threads are already attached to that scrap of fabric so they can't get dragged down into the machine. And then, oh, I'm losing my foot pedal. Hang on. Oh. Oh, we go. On. It's going for a walk. Um, Ross, just while you're stitching, Rhonda's just asked, when you use the multimedia dies, do you have to square up a block? So you may need to do just your little your little ends, um, just, you know, if you've gone off slightly a little bit, but you don't want to be trimming it down a lot because it will match exactly to the 12 and a half inch. Right. Yeah. So if you find that your block is really different, then I would just maybe just have a little bit of a check of your seam allowance. And uh -huh. it might be that um, your seam allowance is a little bit too narrow or a little bit too um, wide. Yeah. So just have a double check of that. However, if you're making them all the same, then basically make all the blocks the same mm. and then it's still going to all come together as well. So cool. So I've just attached that onto there like that. And then the other thing what you can do is, and this is going to sound really weird that I'm doing this, but I'm going to lengthen my stitch to the longest it'll go. And I'm going to stitch this down just to temporarily hold it in place. And what it means is when I put my other side on, it's not going to catch. I could put a pin in, but then when I'm turning it through the other way, I'm going to stab myself with the pin. Yeah. So I like to do this and it just keeps it out the way. And because we're just going to do that loose stitch, it's going to, you're just going to pull it out later. So start a few stitches before. So all the way across. And when you pull it out, you've now got that stitched in place. It's not going to go anywhere. And then later on, when I turn it through, I can just pull them threads out and that'll just pull away. Okay. So I've got my back and fabric here. Now I haven't, you could do an, ex, an identical one in different colours, but I'm going to do it all plain in the, gold so i'm just going to place this on the top there we go let me turn that a little bit to get it all on and then i'm going to stitch all the way around now i have got quite a little bit of stitching to do ben yes. so i'm quite happy that just i could just sew away here couldn't i well, you could do and then start stuffing it yeah and then when you come back to me in a short-ish while. You'll be sort of there. -ish. I'll be pretty much there. Yeah. Is that all right? Shall that's we do a, that? Is that ideal? Absolutely fine. Um, lots of uh, comments still coming in. Uh, Linny on Facebook says, "Lol, Bernie totally threw you under the bus with that story, Ben." No, it's fine. It's, we're all friends here, aren't we? We're all a, <laughs> one big, happy, strange family. Uh, and Terry says, "Ben, our dog groomer uses pinking shears and skips the sewing." Uh, for her bandana. Is she making bandanas out of underpants as well, is she? Uh, <laughs> maybe, Tony's just gone, maybe not underpants. I think that's just me uh, that does that. Uh, wow. <laughs> I'm never going to live that one down, am I? Let's, um, let's have a chat, though, to um, Karen, um, who has been with us, of course, over the uh, last hour and uh, seven minutes. Uh, Karen Lewis, fabric designer, screen printer and author. How are you enjoying your experience at Crafters <laughs> TV. It's great. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. It was great to watch you and Bernie working together as well. And that I can... was great fun. Yeah. yeah. It was really good fun to meet Bernie and sew along and do it all together. Yeah. It yeah. was great. And you're obviously really passionate about what you do. It really comes I across. It. I do. I absolutely love it. And yeah. it's, you know, it is my job, but it doesn't feel like a job. So yeah. I'm very lucky where that's concerned. And how, how did it all start for you? I'm always interested to learn like where, you know, where our guys started when it comes to like, you know, paper craft and soft craft. Where did your love for it all, all start? For 
textiles and mm. all of that. So I've always loved textiles. You know, I was always mainly knitting when I was younger. Yeah. Um, but my grand, same old story that a lot of people, my grandma was sewing and then, you know, I'd be playing with her scraps and all of that. And life got in the way of when I did sew when I was a youngster and um, put it to one side yeah. and then came back to it probably in my 30s um, and I always loved textiles you know going around stores and shops and feeling and seeing patterns and all of that so I've always been absolutely um, driven by textiles and then the opportunity came that I um, could start doing it as a hobby I had a bit more time um, and then one thing led to another and before I knew it I was designing fabrics and doing it for a living it, so it must be really nice as well for you to be able to you know um, share your inspiration and, and love of the craft with um, with everybody else yeah, as well it is I love doing that I'm a teach by trade not of textiles of maths oh, really? and PE so oh, right. a completely different type of teaching than I do now so yeah. I do teach textiles and my printing and it's great I just love passing on the enthusiasm that I have for it and hope that other people do too. Was it the younger children or older children? Older, secondary, older. yeah secondary. Yeah. How's so, that? So that was very interesting, maths yeah. and PE could have been people's either favourite things or worst <laughs> things, there was no happy medium with it so yeah. it was, yeah, I was either everybody's favourite teacher or it was like oh no not her again. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't the case, <laughs> and, and and obviously you know with the designing that you that you do now, um, how do you sort of uh, uh, come up with the ideas? Where do you find your inspiration from when you're? When you're oh, doing? it's such an interesting question, but I think, and it's I think it's the same with any creative that when you're in that zone, you just see pattern everywhere. You know, I was staying in the hotel nearby here last night oh, and really? the tiles in the bathroom and, you know, even simple things like the way shadows form and anything, you just suddenly see pattern and design everywhere. And it's really, it's a matter of me honing my brain, you yeah. know, of trying to calm myself down um, with rather than struggling. It's and what are you doing when you see those patterns? And have you got like a, a, a notepad? Are you sketching? Are you um, I take a lot of photographs. Yeah. So when I'm out and about, I take a lot of photographs of things and then flick through and, and see. Um, I tend not to make notes because it's all visual. Yeah. Um, so yeah, mainly it's photographs. And is it mainly, is it patterns that you're drawn to or is it sort of uh, colour combinations? It's both. Yeah, it really is both. Essentially, I'd say it's patterns. It's the way things form together. Um, and, you know, I think that's the maths side in me that it's you know seeing how shapes play and and match up and work together yeah um and what is your favorite color palette when it comes to creating? oh so probably so. probably these kind of colors yeah um are very Beautiful. much what i go to i go to a coral i go to um dark blues i love navy and these muddy okra yeah kind of colors um with lots of grays so that would probably be me on a plate I those love that. colors <laughs> but to yeah, sum you up, yeah. You. if you were gonna sum me up i would always and we have a bit of a laugh when i'm with my thread house girls joe yeah. and with lynn because i try and branch out and i try and bring in some other colors it never works and by the time i've gone around the houses it's always back to this always <laughs> always so, back to the old, yes, to the old yeah, favorites and yeah. it must be so nice for you as well to uh you know to be able to to share your love and i guess um you know more and more people are maybe people who were d discovering sort of um soft craft for the first time but people like yourself maybe who had a love for it back along and, and now being sort of reinvigorated yeah by watching absolutely shows like this. yeah definitely definitely by watching shows like this it's you know fantastic for people to especially when it was during lockdown mm. um you know there was a lot of people who were at home on their own and you know shows like this and and things like this were just you know perfect for people to to reinvigorate on their crafts and yeah and with all of your work and and, and designs you have a lot of time to to craft for yourself um i'm always so i can never sit on a sofa and not do anything yeah. so watching tv i find it hard to watch subtitle tv because 
I've always Super got Dean, something yeah. in my hands, something that I'm sewing. So yeah, I'm never without. Yeah. Yeah. Are you creating anything special this Christmas? Um, so what? Am I, well, I'll be using this obviously, yeah, obviously, and obviously doing that again in Christmas colours. Yeah. Um, for the table, but um, yeah, that's probably probably what I'm going to be working on. Um, it was so lovely to, um, to chat to you and as I say, um, just amazing to have you with us. If anyone else has got any uh, questions they want to uh, put to Karen before we finish in, yikes, about 15 minutes time, uh, or indeed Burnley as well, you can get in touch with us uh, in the usual ways on Facebook or indeed on uh, YouTube as well. Uh, Nee just saying, uh, wow Karen, it's amazing how you see patterns in the things around you. Uh, that must be a real gift. So there you go. Um, Terry just saying, Bernie, uh, the tip is a game changer. Which tip would that have been? There's been so many today. Uh, you'd, you'd be amazed. Oh, there you go. You'd be amazed at how many times I've forgotten to take the pin out. Um, ah. So going back to just what you were telling us a few moments ago. How are you getting on over there, Bernie? Well, I've just got it all the way through and I need to give it a press. Okay. Um, I've pulled out all of my star sections and I've left one gap here yep. for to stuff it so I don't think I'm going to get a chance to stuff it on the shore but here's the um, stitch in there if I just pull that out there we go look that's then released that that's perfect. and I just thought it, do you know when that came to me I was doing something and I've got it caught and I thought oh, how do I how do I get rid of that how does that stop happening and I was like oh, I just put a little bit of stitch in there oh, yeah. and one little other little genius. tip on when you turn it through so we can see here can we see this looks a little bit strange it looks a little bit lumpy yeah so all I do is just give it a little bit of a little bit of a tug mm -hmm. like that and then once that's pressed and see there now that that lump's gone away oh yeah so you just give it a little bit of talk what you may have to do is because i've snipped in into the corners here so what you may have to do is just go in and just um snip it a little bit more but if i give this a press and then at least and to be honest you don't need to stuff this you know you could leave it um you could put some like christmas potpourri in couldn't you that's a lovely mm. idea oh and hang it in like near a doorway oh, yes. so that when the door like wafts the smell about i think i've said wafts twice today that's right. i don't know why johnny's laughing wafts. it's a funny word isn't it wafts. wafts but it's probably with our accent as well right aye man it's uh, i always laugh at johnny with his bow maker because that's how we say it, don't we, Johnny? Boar maker. Boar maker. Johnny <laughs> producer, Johnny. I'm picking up the accent, like. <laughs> it'll be about nine weeks, like. That was a very good <laughs> And then I've got my little hemostat here. So you want something blunt. Yeah. You don't want to use your scissors um, because you don't want to poke through your fabric. And you're just going to gently ease the corners out like that. And then on your little bit here, which is where your gap is, just with just sort of finger fold it or finger press it sorry finger fold finger press it in like that so you've got it how you want it first before you iron it because once you iron it you're putting that definite crease in mm. whereas if you give it a little finger press first there we go i don't think i'm going to stuff this ben i think i'm just going to stitch that little um gap and then that is my christmas Star. I, lo I love oh, the idea nice. of sticking some smelly stuff in it as well. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good idea. idea that. I didn't think of that before. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to stitch this tiny little hole up and then it's done. Um, Rosalind is saying, um, I'm going to uh, make some of these to hang in the uh, in the front windows as well, which is um, which is brilliant. Uh, loads of you saying, actually, that you're um, looking to get crafty, looking to um, make goodies that we've seen on this show as well. If you have just joined us, don't forget you can um, come back and uh, watch this show over on YouTube, uh, anytime you fancy. If you're not yet subscribed to us on YouTube, uh, then uh, head on over there, Setra Crafters TV, uh, subscribe, and you can create your own playlist there as well to watch back all of your favourite shows. So if it is uh, softer side of life, then you can go back and watch shows, I think, pretty much since they started. They're all there, aren't they? They are all there. I love it, because there's so much option on there. There's no, like, cut-off pointer, is there? You can just go back and watch every single show from the beginning and yeah. when we were in the old studio next door yes and then we came over into this studio so yeah absolutely brilliant so there we go i finished ben 
I'm going to... There That's we go. Isn't that uh, cute? Love it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, yep, so there you go. Let's have a look at the full collection for you. Uh, this is the uh, multimedia patchwork die uh, collection. Uh, all of those you're getting for £100 today. So it's, uh, what, £44.95 you're saving, uh, £52.75. Another 20% comes off if you are a platinum member. £100 or $112. I'm just laughing to myself thinking about all the shows staying there uh, forever and a day. So the, uh, the pants chat um, <laughs> will be there forever and ever and ever. Thank you, Bernie. <laughs> Johnny just said he said worse. <laughs> um, the same, the same, same stitch deal. Oh yeah, there's been yes, cool. Yeah, I just remember what you're talking about now. There's been some worse things on the shows, haven't there? Uh, the uh, fabric collection. So we've got some saver stitch deals for you, just to uh, quickly whiz through. Um, all of these deals that you're seeing here, you're going to get um, a couple of different uh, styles of your fabric, but actually you're only paying for one meter of each and getting another for uh, free. So you've got your bee garden and your uh, mint uh, bee garden included there, but you're actually only paying for two meters and you're actually getting four within that deal. £9.58, $9.58. We did have the Enchanted Forest, but uh, funnily enough, that's sold out. We've had so many sellouts on this show. Uh, we've still got the Vintage Flowers Bundle available for you. Um, it's your Sunshine Tulips and your Spring Tulips. Uh, same deal again there, you're only actually paying for two. Um, of the uh, fabrics, £9.58, uh, whether you're shopping with us in the US or indeed the UK, that's the platinum price. Uh, and then the Dashwood Studios leaves, you get a metre fabric here uh, for the price of half a metre. Uh, it's a 25% saving, uh, £8.98 platinum or $13.18. And doing loads of great deals today as well because we've got the screw punch with the, um, the tool kit. And actually this works out that you're getting the tool and one of the tool kits for the price. And we're giving you the second tool kit, the, uh, the silver one, uh, for free. $31.98 platinum or $38.32 um, is the platinum price on that if you're shopping with us in the US. And then we've also got your uh, cushion covers with the three stencils collection. You've got um, two stencils for free, but you get all three of those stencils within the, within the bundle and then you get the choice of the um, fabric for the, uh, the, the cushion cover. So this is the light cushion cover uh, with those three stencils, 20 pounds. That's a bargain, isn't it? Or well, $28 if you're platinum. If you want to go for the dark cushion covers, that's the deal again. You get the same uh, stencils, but then you've got the, um, the dark cushion covers as well. £20, $28. Everyone saves uh, 41 or $47. Uh, literally in the last eight minutes or so, let's just have a quick look at a few um, samples with our Bernie. What you got to show us, Bernie? So the first one, Ben, I've got the Be Happy fabric. Um, it, to have... Um, two different colours in this bundle it can work really well and it'll mix in with your other colours that you've got in your stash so I've got this quilt here where we've used the what I love this one the one with the little, little bee, bee the little bee in there and then we've got the green or the mint it's classed as mint isn't it mint yeah it's like a sagey sagey mm. colour isn't it sagey mint so we've got this one here now in this quilt here these pieces aren't very big so that fabric, you're getting a metre of each, is going to go a long way. And if you manage to get that bundle with the gold in of the um, Rose and Hubble, look how this brings out the yellow of the bee. Looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? It just really makes it pop. And against the white as well, yeah. which is unusual um, that you would put white with white, but it's just so effective. It really, you know, really is effective. That bee fabric as well, isn't that? Bees so popular, aren't they? Not oh, they, craft, they, but in they really as well. are. Mm. Yeah. And then on this one, we've used it, so just we've got a little zipper pouch here with the other bee fabric that we, we had. That I think that one went straight away, that one. We've used it as the lining here, so you can see there that you've got the lining in there as well. So I like to have a punchy lining and also the um, handle as oh, yeah. well. So it's mm -hmm. matching in there as well. So it's really, really coordinating that one. So that's the bee fabric. And then I've got, oh, wait, you see these, what I've got here. <laughs> This quilt, I'm sure Angela in our design team made this quilt, it's fantastic. Oh, but this one, again, we've got a, a little pouch here with some pockets on the side. So we've used the um, vintage flowers fabric here. Mm -hmm. So we've got that on both sides. It's just really, really Gorgeous. lovely. It's lovely and soft as well. Our fabric's always lovely. It washes lovely, it irons lovely. It's really, really nice. I would say lovely three times there, <laughs> but it is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> and then look at this. 
absolutely stunning ah. quilt isn't it fantastic these are called suffolk puffs Cool. that use a circle of fabric i'll do one on a show one day when we've got oh i've got circles on next week circle cutters i've got next week so i'll show you how to do a suffer puff next week um but here we've used the dresden plate right. as the design and it's been fussy cut so you can see how all of the leaves so in every cut we've got the design and they've all they all go on the correct way as well so they all point outwards but then if i bring in this one look at that so that fabric, the way it's being fussy cut, you can see how the effect is absolutely amazing because that doesn't look like it's all pieced, but all of these blades are all separate pieces as well. Mm. And then we've used it to cover the button as well, little uh, self-covering button as well. Oh, thank you. So it's absolutely, absolutely stunning. I love yeah. that, Angela. Thank you for making us that. That's great. So yeah, so that's the vintage flowers. So which one are we on to next? We... Is that the leaf the one? Leaves. So I have you, you've got the leaf fabric with you, Ben. Yes. The leaves. Um, this was a range that we had, it was the Dashwood Studios range. Um, I remember I made a, the lunch on the go bag in the trees that complemented this and the colours are fantastic. I mean, look at the colours you're getting in there, all those different shades of blue and peach. I bet these are Karen's sort of colours as well, given uh, what you were She's saying, nodding. Karen, before. That's She's, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. That's Karen's <laughs> colour palette there. It's, it, I love like soft muted tones, but you've got that pattern on there as well. So it can, even though it's quite a big design, you could still, that would be great still for like a quilt backing because if you're not confident with your quilting you know when you've got a pattern backing on it, it if you go a little bit wobbly it's not going to stand out so absolutely perfect for that yeah so that's the leaves one beautiful and then we're going on to the stencils aren't we if I oh yes show right us. Oh, yes sweet to see these oh no, look at these so this is the stencil so basically what you're going to ha have is you're getting two stencils in each pack so actually you're getting six stencils but you're getting three packs of stencils um and you're getting the full 12 inch size so perfect for your 12 inch blocks so if you are doing if you treat yourself to some of the builder blocks you could have a builder block design you could have a plain block with your quilting pattern on and you can hand stitch this as well this has been stitched on the machine we can really hand stitch on these as well and then you get the border design to go with it as well so this one's been stitched on um a mat actually it's a cushion i think it's a cushion cover that yep yeah, there's no pattern in but look at this the same design so that's the feathers isn't it yeah the yep. same design so you can do your cushions and you're getting your cushion covers in with it. You are, yeah. This one is a little tote bag, but you could do this on the front of a cushion. And this was with our um, glitter paste that we had out of, and they sold really well. So most people are going to have them already. This, I can feel it. So it is, you know, that's, uh, that's not going to come off. That is your design there with your glitter um, paste as well. And then if you're going to put it on a regular quilt, so here's your quilt in here, and this has been hand quilted absolutely stunning wow now the design is a 12 by 12 inch design but look at that little bit there because you can pull little elements out of it absolutely stunning and then you've got this um design all the way around the outside and this one has all been hand quilted so i know karen will appreciate that one so that's from um, the celtic stencil that one yeah and then we've got geometric which is this one here that i won't open this one right out because it's huge um, again, we've just took one section of the design rather than the full 12 inch one. So you can just use the elements of that. Draw through with your heat erasable pen or your chalk marker. If you're going on to dark fabric, you can use our um, markerway spray. So this is our microwave spray, it's like ch uh, chalk in a can. So give it a good shake, ventilated area. You can hear the ball bearing inside there. <laughs> um, and then you spray, mask your stencil off so you don't get it on your other work. Although it will brush off and wash off. Um, and it puts your lines on here so then you can stitch on those mark lines. So yeah, so that's your, um, that's your stencil pack. It's a really good, that is a really, really good deal, that one. And then we've got the snap fasteners. The oh, yes. Ones. Oh, so quickly dive into my bag. I've got a bag of goodies here, Ben. You're going to love this. I've got this backpack here. I love that backpack. It's cool, isn't it? Isn't it's it so cute. joyful? Yeah. This is actually the red that was in the um, fabric bundle, but it's gone now, so we won't talk about that anymore. <laughs> that red, that red there. It's that red. Um, so we've got snap fasteners on here. We've got them on pockets on the back as well. But then inside, what have we got? So we've got a little um, 
San hand sanitizer holder. Oh, cool. With, so you can pop that on your belt or a loop inside your bag so yep. you can use them on that and you're getting all the different sizes in there I've got I love this a little tea towel a tea towel holder how cute is that oh that's brilliant. so you can then clip that over your door handle or over your iron, uh, iron door oven door, door uh -huh. as well I've had to stop putting mine on my iron, uh, oven door because the dog likes tea towels <gasps> she nicks them water bottle holder love it just clip them onto the back. So easy to use. You get all the tools in there with it. Last but not least. Like a Mary Poppins bag, this. I know, isn't it? Last but not least, I've got, oh, I can't do that one handed. So you've got a little um, wrist pin cushion that you make, make as well oh, cool. with the snap fastener. And that's the silver one there. So you're getting a really big choice in there. A lot of pieces in there. It's absolutely fantastic to have in your stash. Oh, wow. It's great to see all of those uh, goodies. And don't forget, whatever you've got in your basket, make sure you're getting it checked out. Uh, and you can continue to buy it after the show as well. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it today. I must say a massive thank you to um, Karen, who's been with us over the last um, hour and a half. Karen, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thanks uh, for having me. It's, it's been great. Absolutely. It's been a joy to have you with us. And a big thank you to Bernie as well uh, with their start. That's your demo of the show. It's the only demo of the show, isn't it, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we only finished one. Yep. Well, we've got carried away chatting. It's been brilliant, Ben. Lovely work with you again. Because, like you say, it's been ages since we worked together, but not as long as the time before six months. What happened there? Uh, well, I have no idea. I think I'm going to be with you next Sunday, but you know what this place is like. Uh, things <laughs> might change, so I'll say maybe see you next Sunday. Uh, you'll definitely see Bernie next Sunday, though, here on the softer side of life. Uh, make sure you get your baskets checked out. Take advantage of these deals before they disappear. I'll be back with you with... Uh, Debbie Robinson, we've got a craft along coming up in an hour and a half time. Check our socials for all the details and we'll see you then. Bye for now.